Hi there, and welcome to Mickey Man's RCT Station. In this video, we're going to go through 12 things you can do while your game is paused in Rollercoaster Tycoon. In scenario play, especially some of the more challenging ones with the time restriction, time can be a precious resource, and pausing the game at opportune moments can make your scenario play generally more efficient. This can result in more time for building rides, adding scenery and other details, but also useful for outrageous challenges like Marcel demonstrated where he tried to get the most guests possible in one year. Getting familiar with your pause shortcut key can also increase efficiency even further, the default being your pause or break key in Windows. With that being said, let's get into it. Number 1. General Planning A good thing to do right when you start a scenario is pause, take a look around, and get familiar with the map. You can check out what rides you have available, and create a bit of a plan. This can also be done at any time you need to stop and think about what your next steps in the scenario are. Number 2. Adjust Ride Settings this includes adjusting the number of swings and rotations for certain flat rides, min and max waiting times, inspection intervals, and changing operating modes if available. All this can be done while paused. Furthermore, since you have to close a ride to change its operating mode, pausing the game has the added advantage of holding the guests in the queue line after a new mode is selected and you've reopened the ride. Number 3. Reset a stuck ride without losing guests in line. On a similar note to changing the operating mode as explained before, pausing just before resetting a ride that's become stuck, not looking at any dinky slide in particular, holds all guests in the queue line. To reset a ride, pause the game, hit the close button twice, and then reopen the ride. This is useful because guests may have been waiting in line a while before you realise it's stuck, or by the time you eventually get the notification that the ride's stuck. Guests that leave the queue line here are at a higher risk of leaving the park due to low happiness. Holding them in the line while resetting the ride means they have a chance of restoring some happiness as soon as they'll make it onto the ride. Number 4. Rename Rides This is a pretty obvious one, but pausing here can help give you more time coming up with clever names for your rides. Number 5. Choose colour schemes and themes for rides and scenery If you're as indecisive slash picky as I am when it comes to colour schemes, pausing the game while testing out different colours can save you a lot of time. This also works for applying alternate colour schemes, and changing entrance and exit styles. You can even repaint scenery pieces that have already been placed in RCT2 and RCT Classic. Number 6. Hire and set staff zones. Pausing while doing this is possibly one of the biggest time savers, as time taken hiring and zoning staff, especially in a larger park, can accumulate significantly over time. Number 7. Adjust pricing. This includes adjusting the park entry fee if applicable, the ride ticket prices if applicable, and shops and stall pricing. This can also be a real time saver, especially if you're charging high ride ticket prices and need to reduce prices frequently as the rides age. Number 8. Adjust research settings. Granted, this doesn't really take that much time anyway, but I still think it's worth pointing out. Number 9. Monitor finances and buy advertising campaigns. Purchasing advertising or marketing campaigns can also be done while paused. Pausing can also give you some good time to get a grasp of your financial situation, as well as pay back any loans. Number 10. Monitor your guest thoughts. Looking through collective and individual guest thoughts can be handy when paused. One, because of the time saving, but also because guest thoughts are pretty fluid, so they eventually disappear and get replaced by new thoughts soon after. Pausing ensures you should hopefully capture the most applicable thoughts at that particular time. Number 11. Highlight park issues. A classic keystroke shortcut combination I use is the 3, 4, 5, 6 for invisible rides, scenery, supports and peeps. This, in combination with pausing, helps highlight issues like dirty paths and vandalism. OpenRCT2 has a great feature that essentially does this with one keystroke, but 3456 should do the trick for vanilla version users. And the last one, number 12. General navigation of menus and selecting items. You've probably worked out by now that there are basically only a few things you can't do while paused in RCT, albeit they are quite major. They include building rides, paths, scenery and landscaping, testing rides, deleting rides, path and scenery, purchasing land and construction rights, and earning money from guests. But even whilst doing things like building and adding scenery, you can still pause the game to navigate in-game menus. I find this particularly useful when I'm decorating and constantly switching between different trees and shrubs to place down. For anyone that's watched my scenario playthroughs, you might be pretty familiar with what I'm on about here, as I do this pretty often. And there were 12 things you can do while paused in Rollercoaster Tycoon. 
Something I'd like to quickly point out here is that pausing excessively can maybe detract from the in-game ambience a little, and not make it as relaxing to play. RCT is just meant to be a fun game at the end of the day, and I would encourage you to play it in a way that works best for you. The things I've laid out in this video are mostly just intended to serve as an idea of where you might be able to save some in-game time in your scenario play, and I hope you found the video useful and it can help make your scenario play a bit more efficient. I may have missed a few things along the way so let me know in the comments if I did. As always, thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.